Catherine, the Princess of Wales, is a modern-day princess. If she is now part of the British royal family, at the beginning of her relationship with Prince William, Queen Elizabeth would have had some reservations. It was not until 2008 that she first met the Sovereign, once her relationship with Prince William became serious. Soon after, it was the turn of the Duchess of Cambridge's parents to have the honor of meeting Her Majesty at a rather pleasant and warm lunch. For fear that Catherine might feel isolated and cut off from her surroundings, like Princess Diana, Queen Elizabeth II was anxious to integrate the young woman's relatives into the family. According to a royal source, Prince William's grandmother invited Carol and Michael Middleton to lunch at Windsor Castle to break the ice when they first met. The same source said it was a delicious lunch, very warm with lots of laughter. I think it helped put everyone at ease. The meal had started at 1 p.m. and lasted less than an hour and a half, before adding, Her Majesty thought it would be a nice gesture and really wanted to meet them. She's never one to linger over lunch. The death of Queen Elizabeth II marked the end of the longest reign in the UK has ever had, and they'd never known that from a monarch. As the royal family ushered the Carolyn era, tributes were paid to the late monarch around the world. She was not only the nation's longest reigning monarch, but also a doting grandmother to her eight grandchildren and 13 great-grandchildren, a role she cherished deeply. Her commitment to her royal duties was known across the world, yet it was her profound affection for her family that offered to warm the hearts of the public as seen in intimate photos and anecdotes from those who knew her best. Some sources even claim that the Princess of Wales would have a direct line to talk to the Queen. This would give her the privilege of hearing from Princess George and Louis, as well as Princess Charlotte. Catherine previously spoke about the Queen's affection for Princess Charlotte, Prince Louis, and Prince George, who called her Gangan, and she revealed the monarch's touching gesture every time they would go and visit. Speaking in the 2016 TV documentary Our Queen at 90, following the birth of Princess Charlotte, the royal mum of three shared, It's very special having a new little girl in the family. Very lucky that George has got a sister. The Queen was really thrilled that it was a little girl, and I think as soon as we came back here to Kensington, she was one of our first visitors here. I think she's very fond of Charlotte, always watching what she's up to. She always leaves a little gift or something in their room when we go and stay, and that just shows, I think, her love for her family. The princess also reminisced about the warmth and kindness the queen showed her personally, highlighting their first official engagement together in March of 2019, which she recalled during the same program. The most memorable engagement for me, I suppose, was an away day to Leicester, and I went without William, so I was rather apprehensive about it. Of the queen, she added, she was very supportive. The fact that she took the time to make sure I was happy and looked after that particular occasion, which probably is everything that she's doing in a very small element, which just shows how caring she is, really. The late monarch was also famously seen sharing a charming moment with William and Catherine's youngest child, Prince Louis, on the Buckingham Palace balcony during the Platinum Jubilee flypast in 2022. Catherine once shared a heartbreaking comment that Louis, then aged four, made about the death of his great-grandmother while she was meeting members of the public outside of Windsor Castle, just two days before the late Queen's death in September 2022. The whole nation's being very brave, aren't they? The princess said to an emotional well-wisher. Don't worry, I have plenty of moments like this too. My little Louis, he's just so sweet. He's like, Mommy, don't worry, she's with great-grandpa and it just shows you how special she was to everybody, all generations.